One of the biggest values of having a local partner is having an ally in the community. My name is Rocky Shanauer. I'm 39 years old. I opened Park Street Pizza with my wife Courtney in 2003. We lived just up the road from a farm that we would walk to and pick up some produce and then we built a personal relationship with them and, and Courtney started to really push this notion of why are we not working closer with them? They're producing all these things, why are we buying onions from off of a truck? When we source ingredients, we look for the best quality and just because it's local doesn't mean it's the best. But when the best ingredients are local, everybody wins. It's more than just a transaction, you know, it's, it's a meaningful relationship. I tell every new employee, pizza is not the focus of what we do. It, it all boils down to how we make people feel when they come into our restaurant. If we can build trust with people and we make a mistake, they're going to forgive us for that and they're going to come back and continue to support us. So I reached out to a friend, he said, let's bring in like a cross-section of your customers. I just want to hear what everyone else has to say about you, about Park Street. What came out of it was a sense of community. He came up with our logo, which is essentially a hybrid pizza cutter and a, and a tractor. Baylor Street is where we started our family, and that was our first house. That's where we lived when we started Park Street. It's based around Courtney's love for books. She's a huge reader. We named our pizzas after books and characters of books and had a lot of fun with the branding. One of the identifiers of our brand is a lion head door knocker. So we wanted it to be a little funky. We wanted it to be a little unique and, and a, little, a little vintage. Park Street's a little bit more mainstream. Baylor Street's a little bit more eclectic, you know, and that's kind of how Courtney and I are, I guess. So we realized if we wanted to grow, we needed more space. So we located a warehouse across town that gave us the ability to build a kitchen that could support both our Baylor Street operations, our pop fundraising operations, and also Park Street. We have a unique situation in, in our community where we have a large Amish population. If there's a medical situation, they don't have health insurance. They, they literally take care of that themselves. They do a pizza fundraiser. They'll call us and they'll say, hey, we want to do 3,000 pizzas at the end of this month. So we started to sell pizza ingredients at a wholesale flat price per pizza in a way that we could provide them with good ingredients, help them build the pizzas, and then they could sell and distribute them and they could make the majority of the profit. I'm of the thought that anytime good people cross your path that you believe in, you should try to get them on your team. Because the better, the stronger your team is, the better life's going to be. When you can keep creating opportunities for your team, they stay with you. One of my goals is to create an ownership opportunity. They have stake in the company. They have stake in its success. You know, Baylor Street, Courtney created that out of her passion for cooking and her passion for exploring food. I created that as a business out of my passion for being an entrepreneur and just seeing a potential in something that is like, all right, Courtney created the most amazing pizza I've ever eaten. We need to get this out. This needs to be a business. We need to do something with this. I constantly see opportunity everywhere. And I think as an entrepreneur, you, you are always looking for that next opportunity and you can't turn it off. I never felt as, as passionate or as driven or as motivated to do anything until I was an owner. And as soon as I got that feeling, there's no end to the energy and the drive that I have to do this.